welcome back to my channel. Today I'm meal prepping. I love meal prepping. Actually, I'm, I think I'm gonna make four, maybe prep five meals even today. I have a few hours. Oh, good job, Noelle. We're still doing some school around here. You need to make sure the first letter's capital and the, there's a period at the end of the sentence. She had to write a sentence for each color. So she wrote, I love red, I love brown, I love green. <laughs> oh, I like brown. They are a little different. <laughs> We're gonna do a pasta dish that I've never shared before. A Philly cheesesteak, like pasta dish. That's gonna be really, really good. I'm gonna do a chicken salad, a different version that I've done before. An Italian sausage and rice that I have done before. It was so good and so easy. So a couple of the meals are like just one pot wonders. And I love that. And then I'm gonna prep some meat for a Big Mac salad. This is my kid's favorite salad. I thought a ham, a pork hawk, a smoked pork hawk, something. I don't know, I'll probably have solo season that. So tomorrow we can just put it in the crock pot and turn it on. We got a bunch of extra vegetables from a farmer's market, we bought some corn, sweet corn, and then they he kept just giving us extra corn. And then he said, well, I've got all this other stuff that it's the end of my day. He goes to a farmer's markets every day, and he said this stuff won't do well tomorrow, by tomorrow. So he started giving so all of this extra. He gave him more corn, cabbage, tomatoes, eggplant, radishes. I don't even know what to do with radishes. I guess they can go in a crock pot with roast and celery and carrots and cabbage oh I guess I said that a whole bunch of green beans jalapenos these I think are banana peppers these are hot these are not kale we also met a bee farmer her husband does bees and she t gave us so much information about how to learn more and we bought some eggs because we were actually fresh out of eggs which really happens here $20 $25 and then 20 for these huge farm brush eggs. So the total was $65 for all of that. Pretty cool. And now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all of it. We're gonna cook it right away. In fact, the kids are waiting outside, some of them. They really are excited to shuck this corn. I've already found one huge caterpillar, so I want it off my counter and I wanna get it shucked right away and then put away. I'll show you what I did with a lot of that. I'm gonna prepare the pork for tomorrow and then we'll use the sweet corn that we prepped here it's been fine just sitting on my counter. I wondered if it needed to be in the fridge, but it's been okay just for a couple days. And so we'll we'll make that tomorrow. And then a couple things I didn't preserve because it just wasn't enough to make it worth canning was some carrots he gave me and some green beans. So I think we'll just cook those up tomorrow. I may prep them a little. Right now, it is 2.20. And I have about till five to just get all of this done. I have already chopped all these beautiful vegetables. And, oops, I lost Noelle, I need to go get her. She's not done with school. <laughs> she took advantage of me talking to you guys. I'll be right back. Yeah. Are you doing school with sunglasses today? <laughs> wow. This first one is the Philly steak pasta. It's gonna be so good. I put some olive oil in the bottom of this pot. I got my big pot out, because I'm doubling this recipe. I'll write it in the description box, though, in just the single form. So I'm gonna saute those veggies I chopped up first. While that's sauteing, I have these sandwich steaks. Actually, they're cube steaks. You could use sandwich steaks, just a thin steak. We happen to have some cube steak that we don't use a lot for other things, so I thought, oh, this is a good meal to use it with. I'm just gonna thinly slice these up. I got a couple pounds here. I added the beef to my pot, and now I'm gonna throw in a bunch of salt and pepper and garlic powder. Okay, I got all those spices in. Bill keeps laughing really hard over there. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> funny to hear that your grandparents' first steak went awful. That's <laughs> she, funny. She's editing my dad's videos, and um, it's their anniversary. They, feel, they just filmed something for their anniversary, and I just keep hearing her giggle and giggle and giggle. <laughs> It's gonna be a good one, I guess. I am mixing up some cornstarch, some heavy cream, some broth. I have chicken broth here. I need about four cups. This is like three and a half, so I'll add a little water. Probably should be using beef broth, but this will work, and it's just my home canned broth. And then Worcestershire. I said Worcestershire, Mike had corrected me. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna mix that all up in this bowl here. Oh, I gotta whisk that. <laughs> I need two hands. Should I set up a tripod? Yes, I should. Will I? No, I will not. 
Here's my little mixture. I'm just gonna pour this guy right into that big pot. We're gonna throw in four cups of penne pasta and bring it to a boil and then let it simmer for a little bit while it cooks the pasta. And I'm gonna keep an eye on it here. I never added that little bit of extra of liquid, so we'll see if I need it, but we'll let this simmer a bit. Okay, I definitely feel like I'm in a race against time today. I got that meal busted out, but except one more step. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on it while I start the next one. I did take a minute to clean up everything. That to me is the key of meal prep days is to keep everything picked up or washed off in between. Otherwise it becomes very stressful because you end up with like mount dishes. Nobody wants mount dishes. I have a few mushrooms left that I didn't want to use all of. So I'm going to search here for a paper bag. Paper bag's how you store mushrooms, right? I think that's the best way. <gasps> My kids have used them all for puppet making. We used them all for puppets? Yep. Okay, plastic bag it is. Let's hope the mushrooms make it. <laughs> Tori loves them, so I will let her know she can make some fried with her eggs in the morning. Noelle needs a break from school, so she's helping me with meal number two. He's helping by eating them, <laughs> the grapes. So you're gonna cut those grapes in yeah, half. watch out. We need all those grapes cut in half. Can you handle it? Yeah. Okay, we gotta work on your knife skills. <laughs> you hold it like this, watch. Oh, like this? Like this. So your fingers go inward, and then you're less likely to cut your finger. Mm. Like this? Yeah, kind of. Can I try it out? Micah's gonna dice up that apple there. You can put all your fruit in this, this bowl. This is turning into a fruit salad. Maybe I'll let you guys make a fruit salad after this. Yay! I am going to use a couple cans of my canned chicken. Oh, it happens to be thighs that I grabbed, chicken thighs. And I'll just drain this off. Oh, that's my extra chicken broth. I should drain it into my other meal. That would be smart. Okay, we got the chicken in here. That worked out good. I put all the broth in the other meal. They're cutting so grapes up. He's chopping up the some green onions we found. Shallots would be better, but this is what I got. Oh boy, I love it when everyone's helping. Slivered almonds. These noodles are done. We're gonna add in some mozzarella cheese. You could use shredded cheese and then put some cheese on top at the end. But I don't have shredded, I have this fresh stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm going to just tear it apart and put it in there, it's gonna be good. Okay, back to the chicken salad. These kids are doing a great job. And we're gonna make the sauce. About three-fourths cup of Miracle Whip. Okay, I added six teaspoons of red That's wine right, vinegar, three tablespoons of lemon juice, and then three-fourths teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, and Italian seasonings. Okay, mixing that all up together, and then I'm gonna <laughs> add it to that chopped bowl. We made, or I made, a bunch of homemade buns. Maybe a month or two ago, they've been in my freezer, hamburger bun type things with my homemade bread recipe. I always make extra every time I make buns and freeze them, so we'll probably pull those out or maybe if someone has to run into a store, we'll grab some croissants. It'll be great to eat this on top of that. This will make a great dinner. Actually, it's a very, I think it's the best chicken salad I've ever made, definitely. Tried, probably. It's very juicy. Okay, let's see. We'll get a taste reaction. It's good. Can I try It's some? good. <laughs> sure. A that was a big bite. You like it? Yeah. It's good. She's got her knife skills down. Oh, you gotta turn those fingers under. I did add the mozzarella cheese on top. I'm just gonna cover it. Let it just slowly melt. Can never have enough cheese on pasta, right? That's a thing. Let's whip this mess into shape and start number three. And then what I'm making next is an Italian beef and rice meal I made for you guys a few months ago. It's so good. Please. She's going to town. She's got a plum going now. Oh boy, I need two hands. <laughs> Once again, I should pull out my tripod, but I don't. Okay, I have three pounds of pork sausage here that I had thawed already. So I'm just gonna brown the onions and the sausage all together. My sausage and onion are done cooking up. And there's actually not a lot of grease to drain, so that's good. I forgot that I um, was going to use a bag of mixed vegetables in this meal. It's really good that way, like a mix of corn, peas, and carrots. So I'm asking my neighbor if she has some. I'm waiting to hear back from my neighbor, but in the meantime, I'm gonna throw in some diced tomatoes, this big can, and some brown rice and chicken broth. One and a half cups of brown rice. 
I love using brown rice instead of white. I think it keeps kids fuller and also my husband uses white rice in almost everything because he cooks Kenyan food and Indian food a lot and he feels like they all taste better with white rice so we have a good compromising mix around here. When it's my meals, it's brown rice. When it's his, it's white. I added a bunch of spices. I'll just write it all in the description box and Stir it up together. I'm gonna let it cook until that brown rice cooks. If my if I don't hear from my neighbor quick, I'm just gonna add in some canned corn that I have and frozen peas. So I'll be missing the green beans. I guess I have some fresh stuff, but I don't feel like doing all that work right now. <laughs> Otherwise, I would throw in a bag of like peas, carrots, beans, mm -hmm. you know, when it's all small. Oh, wow. That is incredible. You did such a good job. Everything is so tiny cut. Is it good? Also, here's how that other one shaped up. It looks so good. Love these one pot wonder things. Sure makes dinner easy. And at the end, after it's cooked, I'll just add cheese on top. I have some raw cheddar that I'll do. You could do any kind, like a Mexican blend or something like that would be very good too. Okay, it is four o'clock. I have till five o'clock. I really am doing very good, I think. I have some ground beef that I wanna cook up for the cheeseburger salad and I need to make the dressing for that. And I got a little computer work to do. The reason I am on a time crunch is I have a mother's helper who comes and helps me out a couple days a week and she just allows me to get a lot of work done when she's here. She just handles the little ones mostly. Maybe like today she checked somebody's schoolwork with them and so sometimes she does stuff with older kids too. She's here till five and it's so helpful that she's keeping an eye on the little guys in the pool. So it was a good chance for me to cook and film at the same time, which can be hard to do when little ones are coming in and out. I think the ham hock, I'm just gonna have solo season it, like I said, and I'll work on those veggies tomorrow when we're cooking it. So otherwise, I've got five meals, like the ham, I haven't done anything to prep it, but just having it thawed, you know that is half the battle. Having your meat thawed <laughs> and having a good solid plan of something you're definitely gonna use. Mmm. Best fruit salad I've ever had in my life. Do you want to give us the recipe? All you need is grapes. It doesn't matter which order you do. You just need grapes, oranges, plums, and apples. Mm. Mix it up. What about banana? Can we add some banana? Nope. Oh, okay. Don't add banana. It won't taste good if you add banana. <laughs> okay. And how old are you now that you have food in your mouth? Mm-hmm. Next up is frying this ground beef. This time I switched to a red onion. <laughs> Sometimes I serve the onion on the side for this uh, cheeseburger salad. And Belle is gonna make the dressing. She makes a great dressing. Get some lettuce out of our garden, um, tomatoes from our garden. We have tons of them over here. You just kind of think about like what goes on a cheeseburger. <laughs> That's really good. We add cheese. Oh, pickles. Pickles are in, pickle juice is in the dressing and pickles on the salad. Makes it really good. My neighbors didn't end up having the mixed veggies either, so I just used some frozen corn and, nope, frozen peas and a can of corn drained. I'm just gonna mix that in and let it keep cooking with the lid on. Thank you, Luca. <laughs> Aw, the baby likes the fruit salad, <laughs> maybe. Hi, Peace, I missed concerned. you. You slept like four hours. What? You did? <laughs> Look at that little grin. She's so cute. She's adorable. She's eating everything in sight. Can you tell? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you tell by her shovel wub? <laughs> you just want to eat her. She's yeah. so cute. Her nickname is, I think I've said this, but her nickname right now is Delicious. And Peaches. I call her Peaches. Peaches. Delicious. Scrumptious. Mm-hmm. This is the final countdown. <laughs> Here's the dressing. Is it done, Belle? Oh, it needs ketchup, right? Oh, I put in ketchup, but I think it needs more ketchup. Oh, yeah, it's usually a little redder. Okay, I forgot to show you guys the things I preserved yesterday. I learned how to blanch and flash freeze. So that was the first for me. Of kale, celery, and radishes that are all ready to be put into bags. Here's the beef for the cheeseburger salad that goes with the dressing bell made. This is, oh, I need a hot pad. Here's the chicken salad. And that's looking good. And the Italian sausage and rice bowl that I'm gonna add cheese to. The rice is almost done. 
All in all, a very productive afternoon. Got my computer work done, and the kids had a good time at the pool out there. Emily's helping by checking some math homework. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, with Tori, who's facing backward and leaning over. <laughs> the little ones are playing there. Okay, what's the verdict? You guys like it? Yeah, yeah super Wow, Eli's the pickiest, too. He told me, I like it, you're gonna be surprised. And Noel, you said you didn't like it because you loved it. Is that true? <laughs> and I have four meals cooked and one meal thawed and ready to go. So I feel like I'm going into my weekend strong. <laughs> I hope this encouraged you to meal prep something for your week ahead. And thank you guys for watching. We'll do it again next week. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. Peace. Say bye. Peace out. Say bye. Peace out. <laughs>